Hi guys, JP from FSI panel, a very quick video to show you how to set up your push to talk and say again button on your controllers to use the latest ATC enabled training scenarios. All right, if you go to setup under scenarios, you first have to make sure you enable push to talk. When this is done, you will have two buttons to set up. One is mandatory, which is the push to talk button, the one you will use to reply to the ATC. The second one is the say again button. It is very nice to have one because this is a button that will be very useful if you don't understand the clearance. If you push it twice, then not only you will get uh, the voice again played, but you will also get a window uh, with a text instruction. Then you will have the options to fly with only text. I don't recommend that one. If you are a beginner and you want to make sure you don't miss anything, just go for voices, voice and text. And if you want to be uh, a little bit more advanced, just go for only voice. I remind you that if you push twice the say again button, you try to understand twice the clearance. Then after the second uh, voice call, you will get a text window as well. All right, so let's start with the uh, button. So we need to select a push to talk button. So when I click on select button, I will get a list of my controllers. So this controller, as you can see, is a flight rudder pedals and there is no, uh, there is no button right there. So let's try the second one. Here I have a controller with 32 buttons. And as you can see, one of the button is already pushed. That might be a switch, like a landing light switch or anything you have already uh, assigned. So that button is already used. So now if I want to use a push to talk button, I want to identify which button is the push to talk button on my joystick. So I will hit my push to talk button. And if I release it, so I just try to keep it press and release press and now you can see number six is reacting to my push to talk so this is the one i would like to set up so what i have to do now and it's very important just go over number six and click on it right now you can see that the button number six on the SciTech x52 has been selected right let's do the same now for the second button so if i click on second button again I can select whatever controller I want. So if I want the same controller again, I can go on this controller. And now I will use another button. You see all my controller button, when I click on them, will display a light. So now for me, this is what the one I want to use for the uh, say again, that one here. Number nine. So don't forget to click on number nine. If you don't see any any light, then just go for another controller. What is important is that you see that the light, a button, is reacting to your press. So when you press your joystick button, you see one light is reacting. So for me, that's not the one I want. I would like this one here, number nine. So then I click on number nine and I will see here that I have number nine. Then the next thing we do is make sure you select where you want the sound to be output in your headset, in your speakers. So if I use my primary sound driver, it will use your uh, Windows setup for uh, the default output. And you can try by going on test audio. If the audio is good, now you've set your push to talk button. Right, another button that you can use for the flows is on the option and you have the cockpit flows if you want to use the cockpit flows here you can either set a joystick button if you have still one available or you can set a keyboard key combination so let me try to set up a keyboard combination so when i click on this i will be asked do you want to set a keyboard keys combination instead of a joystick button if you say yes we will do it. If you say no, you will have a joystick uh, configuration exactly the same way as we've just did for the uh, push to talk. So if I will say yes, and now FSI panel is ready to record your key combination. So I will use Control Shift F11. I press that, and you can see that I have Control Shift 11 on the screen. 
I just click on save and my button is ready. All right, so let's jump in the simulator. And before that, as well, something very important. When you download the scenario from here, make sure you take a voice scenario. Voice scenario. If you take one of the earlier scenario that doesn't say voice, nothing's going to happen. So make sure you go to one scenario that has voiced. I already downloaded before. My aircraft is loaded. So we will try it. So the first thing to remember is that any ATIS will be played on one, two, three, four, five. So that's valid for departure ATIS and for arrival ATIS. If you get airborne, then the, the arrival ATIS will be played. So if I go to one, two, three, four, five, that's already a very good indication that everything is set properly. If you don't hear anything, just like now, then something is wrong, for sure. Ah, but I, you know why it's wrong right now? Because I didn't start the training scenario. <laughs> so, to start the training scenario, I'll go to my training scenario. I downloaded it already. I want to fly the Geneva to Zurich. And I will start the training. All right, so now downloading the scenario ATC pack. So this is when FSI panel downloads all the voices from the servers. And now my MCDU, my FMS, sorry, in that case will be set. And we will get the first ATC instruction. So as always, when this is happening, do not touch anything on your cockpit. And just wait for the first instructions that everything is ready. Now we are going to uh, listen to the ATIS and we will see if it works. So we should have the sound and we will try our buttons. All right, scenario start when ready, contact ground on 12168. So let's pre select 12168. 12168. It's pre selected and 486 clearance. That's it. All right, so now if I press 12345. This is Geneva Information Whiskey. ILS we have the ATIS playing. If you have a disturbed sound like we just had in the beginning, just revert to the other frequency, try it again and it should be fixed. That happens sometime on the first time you play your flow. Okay, so now it's working. So now I'm going to put 121680, which is delivery on COM1, and I will use my push to talk button. So let's try it. Geneva delivery, this is FSI panel 235. We are ready to pick up clearance to Zurich. Good morning, C panel 145. You are cleared to Zurich as filed. Connell 5, Juliet, departure runway 22. Climb and maintain flight level 9 or 0. Squawk 1354. And as you can see, it works. So now I have to read back to clear the window. So I will just read back using my push to talk button. We are clear to Zurich as file, Conil 5, Juliet, departure, runway 22, climb 900, and scope 1354, FSI panel 145. C panel 145, read back is correct. When ready for pushback, contact apron on 121.855. Good day. Roger, pushback. Uh, when ready for pushback, apron on 121.855, FSI panel 145. Bye bye. All right, 121.855. That's the next frequency, and now I will show you the, the say again button. So to do that, we will do voice only. So I will bring FSI panel, and I will change in the setup. I will go only voice. And we go back in the simulator. All right. Now let's try our flow buttons. We are ready to start. As you can see, my pumps are not on. And let's put the seatbelt off to see. We see we are not pressurized. So I will use my flow. And I would say I want to do a before start. So control F11 worked. As you can see, now the flow is done by FSI panel. The transponder should be set as well. Yes, and we are ready to start. So that's the flows. All right, so let us let me show you now the uh, say again feature. I will call apron for pushback and i will pretend i didn't understand the instruction so let's call for pushback geneva ground fsi panel one four five stand three four ready push and start fc panel one four five clear for pushback facing east qnh one zero two two report ready for taxi okay so i'm not sure about that instruction 
So instead of using the push to talk, I will use the say again. FC panel one four five, clear for pushback facing east. QNH one zero two two, report ready for taxi. All right. Now, if you are still not sure or you wait, you want to make hundred percent sure, use the say again a second time. So I'll do that now. FC panel one four five, clear for pushback facing east. QNH one zero two two, report ready for taxi. And here, as you can see, we get the instruction and as well the window. And now you can just read back. Make sure you take notes and read back using your push to talk. FSI panel 145, therefore push back facing east 1022. We report for taxi. And now the window closes and you are clear to go. All right. So I hope that video clears how to, uh, how to set up the buttons correctly. And uh, if you still have any issue, please get in contact either by uh, the email or you can drop a comment below. Thank you guys. As always, stay safe and see you next time. Bye bye.